and he saw me there in an incubator. Tubes everywhere, IV, nobody to speak of, no face even. Just two white gauze patches covering both eyes. A pound and a half and lucky to be two days old. Now, if any of this shocked my grandfather, well, he certainly didn't show it. He just stood there and he poured every ounce of his energy into that tiny little baby. And while he was doing this, he could faintly hear the doctor going on and on in the background about how unfortunate it was, how they've done all they could. My grandfather cut that man off in mid-sentence. Excuse me, sir. We have not called on the big man yet. Where's your chapel? The doctor directed granddaddy down the hall to the chapel. And my granddaddy entered those doors, and he approached the altar. Lord, I come before you as your, as your child, acknowledging that you are my father, my king, and I am your child. And Lord, I ask you to just bless my little granddaughter. Breathe air into her lungs. Make her an example of your miracle working power. I know that you're able. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And with that, my grandfather rose to his feet, triumphant, secure in the knowledge that I was in God's